Please, speak. Well, the parish priest in Ujits is rather, uh, unorthodox. Not that he's a bad person, not at all. He takes good care of his flock, no doubt. It's just that he drinks quite a lot. In fact, he's even said mass while drunk. And, um, he keeps a concubine. Hmm. That distresses me. All the more so because what you describe isn't at all unique amongst the clergy. Thank you for telling me, Henry. Matters like this certainly must be addressed. The former parish priest of Rovna, Father Simon, went missing one day. Everyone thought he'd fled from the province, but in fact he just went to the woods and became a hermit. I see. Why did he do that? Because he got some girl pregnant. The child died during birth, though, and the mother too. He took it to be retribution for his sin. So he fled far from people, because he didn't feel fit to be their pastor anymore. That's very interesting indeed. Where is this Father Simon now? I tracked him down in the woods and talked him into going back to Rovna. They needed a parish priest there, and Simon was convinced taking on the task would make amends for his sin. Interesting. Father Simon's story is certainly remarkable. Whether his actions are appropriate for a cleric is another matter of course. Thank you for telling me about this. There were Valdensians hiding in Ujits. Really? And how did you find out about it? Sir Hanish sent me to help the vicar track them down and catch them. So, Sir Hanish had an interest in finding them? Yes, that's right. I'm pleased to hear it. It's not always possible to see eye to eye with secular lords in such matters. And how did it end up with the members of the sect? They were caught, and the vicar had them taken to Kuttenberg to be dealt with by the law. Good. Good. There have been all sorts of sects and false doctrines spreading in recent times. It's the work of Satan. I'm glad you told me about it, Henry. Some women in Ujit went to the herbalist for magic ointment. Then they went to the woods, smeared this ointment on themselves, and engaged in all sorts of incantations and spells. What? Witchcraft? God have mercy. They must be brought to justice. Who is this herbalist they visited? She lives in the woods by Ledechko. Mm. This will have to be dealt with. Thank you for telling me. Once I've finished with Johanka's case, I'll consider what's to be done about this. A demon's skull was found on the church building site. Hmm, yes. I heard something about it. A disturbing report. Tell me what you know about it. It was a deception, sir. Someone made it with evil intentions to frighten people. I found the skull and brought it to the local knacker. He confirmed it was a human skull with animal horns stuck on. You did the right thing, Henry, in uncovering the deception and in telling me about it. There are interesting things going on inside the monastery. In the monastery? What kind of things? The cicatas get drunk on wine and play dice in the monastery cellars at night. But how do you know about it? How does a servant of the royal hetman come by knowledge of the confidential affairs of the Brotherhood of Monks? I caught wind of it. I heard it from a novice that the brothers were sending out at night to buy wine for them. I see. And what was the name of this novice? Yodok. Hmm. There is a novice of that name at the monastery. I shall have to speak to the prior about these matters. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. If you've nothing else to tell me, you may leave. That's all, Monsignor. All right, Henry. Thank you. And I hope you're not keeping anything from me. <laughs>